Hey everyone, it's Jenna Melanson from Canadian Beats Media. Today I'm joined by Toronto-based dream pop artist, Ale the Dreamer, for our newest segment of Five Cues. Welcome. Thank you, so happy to be here. Uh, if you do hear loud noises, it's because I'm sitting outside of the studio, so. <laughs> okay, that's fun. <laughs> Hopefully no one's playing the drums shortly. <laughs> You have released your single, Magic. Tell us about the creative process behind the release. Okay, um, so I wrote Magic last year. It was uh, last January, it was on Zoom. Um, and I had been doing lots of Zoom sessions over the last few years, naturally. And I was just in such a really happy, kind of at peace state. Um, I was used to writing songs in my little bedroom at that point. I would show up and be in my pajamas and I had my little dog with me and I'd be <laughs> snacking. It was just such a good vibe. Um, so the creative process just flowed and it was really, really nice. Um, I worked with it on um, this producer, Michael Goldchain, who's also a Toronto native. And honestly, we just chatted about life uh, we chatted about things that inspired us. We chatted about happy memories, good times, um, finding magic in the mundane, mm -hmm. uh, finding beauty where you are. Uh, that was really like a big theme of our conversation. And we kind of built the track all around this idea of finding the magic in mm -hmm. your life. So, which I'm personally all about. That's kind of one of my mantras. Yeah, definitely. Your previous single, Lonely Hallucinations, was produced and co-written by Derek Hoffman. What can you tell us about that experience? I really love working with Derek. It was the first session we ever had together. Uh, so we had just met and it was very cool. I love his studio. It was a very inspiring space. Like I said, getting to know each other and um, the songs just really flow. I I. I really love building like a nice connection with the producers and the people that I work with and solidifying that base before we even create music. So I like to know little details about their life and uh, the songs just flow. It's, it's, it's all about being in that flow state and feeling comfortable and feeling uh, safe to express how you're really feeling. Um, because writing music sometimes is like a therapy session. And you're really just sharing so many little details about your life. So Derek is an awesome guy, incredibly talented producer, recording engineer, and I'm grateful to work with somebody like him. Yeah. Um, throughout your life, who has been your biggest musical influence? Ooh, um, I always go back to when I first started singing and I was around six years old and I started singing with a jazz teacher, a local jazz singer, actually. Okay. And um, she hadn't taught anyone else before we had met. And this has just inspired my whole artistic journey because it brings me back to building the foundation of love that I had for music and going back to that kind of essence of just pure love and pure joy. And that's the reason why I create music. Um, so it's those early memories that I had of going to her walk-up apartment, her studio, and uh, putting on some amazing vinyls of Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday, Sarah Bond, some of the greatest jazz singers ever, and um, just really falling in love with music. So I, I always go back to that. I, I want to create music that inspires me, inspires people, makes people feel good, makes people feel something, and um, it's always my greatest influence. And what is your favorite thing about being a musician in Toronto? My favorite thing about being a musician in Toronto is getting to meet so many amazing people. Um, it really has connected me with people all around the world. Uh, I've been doing this since I was 19, writing music professionally. And um, it's just been so, so, so cool to just get out there and meet like-minded people and, and share and collaborate and um, live in this beautiful musical bubble that is Toronto. Yeah, incredibly talented. Yes, yeah, so many amazing, like so many talented people who actually 
I meet a lot of Canadians when I'm abroad mm-hmm. and it's just an instant connection. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> What's your goal for 2023? Ooh, my goal for 2023 is living in the moment and enjoying every step on this journey. Mm-hmm. And do you have uh, any plans for an EP or album in the making this year or? Definitely. Um, look forward sometimes in the, in the spring. Um, I'm not going to give no. a date yet, <laughs> but definitely this spring we have lots of exciting music coming. Um, the theme of my EP is going to be starting over, which is basically the theme of all the songs that I've written in the last year. And uh, it's going to be really personal. Uh, it's going to be uh, really touching. It's going to be energetic. It's going to be therapeutic. It's going to be all these things, all these emotions that I felt that came with starting this journey all over again. Awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so thanks for joining me for five cues. It's been great chatting yeah. with you. <laughs> I know. Great chatting with you too. Thank you so much, Jenna.